<clears throat> All right. The uh, last last time I talked to you, it was about setting up a uh, cape to react to dynamics, and uh, here is here is the scene, and um, it's been it's had the dynamics applied, and the simulation has been run, and I've already saved the scene, and as you can see, I've got the cape looking the way I wanted to. So now I'm gonna clear the scene, and now I'm gonna reload it, and. Um, Oh, what happened here? Why is this cape not working out like it should be? Well, the problem is that the simulations, any of the simulations that you have in, in, in Lightwave, they're only good for that session. So if you, even if you save the scene with everything intact and everything looks exactly the way you want it to, um, that simulation will not be in Lightwave when you rerun that because everything has been cleared out of there. So if you want this simulation again, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go in and you're going to have to calculate it again. All right? And that can be, you know, a bit of a hassle. So um, the other thing is if you... The other problem with uh, running... You know, wouldn't it be great if you didn't have to calculate this every single time if these simulations were kind of baked in? Well, um, let, me, let me start the calculation now so we can uh, go ahead and do that. Let me hit control. Alright, let me do it again. Calculate this. Alright, so I can talk to you while we're we're doing this. <clears throat> so anyway, um it would be great if there was some way to save these calculations. The other problem that arises with these calculations is let's say you're rendering and you get halfway through your animation and lightwave crashes or you have to turn your computer off, and then you go back and you run the simulation again and then you start rendering the rest of the frames. When you edit those frames together into an actual movie, you're going to find that because the simulation is totally dynamic, so there's no way of of saying if each time it simulates it, it's it's never exactly the same. So each simulation is is totally unique. Um, it's relatively similar because it has the same parameters, but each simulation is a little bit different from the other. So when if you render half the animation, if you render up to say frame 150 and then you stop and reload and recalculate and then render the rest of the frames. When you when you uh, edit it together, there's going to be a noticeable jump where things are not going to be in the same place. So that's another reason why you need to bake the simulation. And we're going to use the MD Scan plugin to do this. I'll show you the little ins and outs of using this plugin once this simulation is finished. Um, sorry, I had to, to do this calculation in order to show you um, the reason why uh, we need to do these calculations. So we'll just have to sit through this, and uh, I'll tell you that the MD Scan plugin can be used for um, any. It'll save any kind of mesh data, any animation that your your character is doing can be saved using this plugin. Okay, so now we have the animation uh, simulation doing what we want. So now let's go to the Deform tab, and let's save this uh, actual. So every single point. It's gonna the MD Scan plugin is gonna record every single point and where it is in time on every single frame. So you're gonna get an actual baked uh, simulation of what's going on. And once we've done this MD Scan, we're not gonna need the simulation anymore. Actually, we can go ahead and get rid of it. So we'll do MD Scan and uh, double click on it to bring it up, and it saves your uh, data in an MDD format. So let's go and uh, let's save it as, um, well we already have one here, we'll just call it cape cape.mdd and we're going to tell it scan points, we're going to leave all that stuff the same, um, the only thing is the first and last frame it defaults to 60 and we need 250 and click on OK and you'll see it starts scanning it's going through every single frame and determining where the points are on the object and we'll give it a few seconds to uh, to go through here. And so now, let's see if we can turn off the dynamics. Nope, we can't yet. Okay. Um, so now we have this stuff scanned. Now here's the problem that I ran into, is you would think that after you go through that, uh, what we just went through, that it had saved, because it asked for a file name, and it went through and scanned and everything. So you would think that you had this file saved. When you reload the scene, you'll be able to load the uh, MD scan uh, data. But that's not the case. 
when you run it the first time, all it does is scan. So what you have to do is double click on the plugin again, and then it will come up with a requester asking you to save the data with the same file name you did before. Just click on OK. Now that data should be saved. All right, uh, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to go to Dynamics and turn this off. All right, so as you can see, the cape has no animation on it now. We'll go to Deform, and above MD Scan is MD Plug, and this actually reads the MD Scan information. So we'll double click on this, and we'll go and we'll search for that file that we just made. Open that, and everything else should be OK. Just click on OK. And now, as you can see, even with the dynamics turned off, we have that same that same motion saved into that. And so you're going to need to do that whenever you do kind of cloth simulation. After you've gotten the simulation the way you want it, go ahead and run the, the scan plugin, run it, run it again, double click on it again, save the file, then run the uh, the MD plug, and you'll be able to. Uh, actually load in there. The other great thing is that because you don't need the dynamics anymore you can get rid of all these different objects. If you had bones in here deforming you could get rid of all those things and it will greatly in, uh, increase the speed of your scene and how it, how it uh, updates. Hope that helps out.